Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. I'm having kind of a blah evening. We all have those days and nights. And so, looking for my one. There we go. I am still here. <laughs> um, so I thought I would play with some makeup, chat a bit, and then I'll end up washing it off because it's uh, getting late in the evening and it's a Tuesday, so not really going anywhere. But thought I'd pop on here. 37 seconds later, <laughs> I'll start the video. Okay, I'm going to do some foundation now. I haven't been using a lot of foundation, or hardly really any, since the pandemic started. Reason being is that I, you know, wear a mask a lot, and I just, I don't like it when it, like, all rubs off. Excuse me just a little lip balm it's one thing I like to do before I start my makeup is moisturize my lips and this is just something I got in one of my beauty subscriptions it's by boost and it's called the color blush but really not much color it's pretty spot on the color of my lips okay one of my favorite foundations that I have used I'm just trying to get in the middle of that screen is the luminous silk foundation by Giorgio Armani Armani and it's in the color 5.5 it's one of those pricey pricier foundations but when it comes to foundation could I say foundation anymore <laughs> when it comes to find foundation I just don't get along or my skin using you as a mirror doesn't really get along with the let's say drugstore brands there are ingredients in there that make my skin not like it and I either break out or I get rashy so I tend to stick with the more high-end foundations um, used to be that way with skincare but for the past couple of years now my favorite brand of skincare is CeraVe and I'll talk about my skincare um, like regimen in another video for those of you that are new to my channel and I think I'm just gonna use that one uh, pump and I already put on my color corrector guys are going to be sick of me talking about that and then the Maybelline fit me concealer and I'm going to do a little bit more here a little bit more here and a little bit here my chin tends to get very red and stay that way so using a nice concealer helps then I'm just using that brush and this brush that I'm using by Japanesque and I think I said in my last video I don't necessarily use brushes for what they say they're for I think this was labeled as like a contour brush but I really don't do much contouring and I like the way it spreads the foundation I've just been using into using when I do wear foundation or liquid makeup, I uh, have been into using a brush versus the Beauty Blender. I kind of go back and forth with that product. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, bronze on my face and I'm gonna use this hourglass and see me in there. This is one of those little baby sizes. This is in the color, it's the, actually the Ambient Light Lightning Bronzer in diffuse bronze light that is a mouthful just taking any old brush here and i'm just gonna start putting some like on the top of my cheeks Ooh, i think i whistled there a little bit on my forehead like i said i'm not really contouring just putting a little bit of a glow i have a mirror right here when i look my left it's very 
very light. In fact, kind of too light for my taste lately. I got a palette um, by the company Ace Beauté. And this was also in my BoxyCharm last month. This is the Bronzed in Paradise. And I've really been loving these two colors. They're not labeled, so I can't tell you what colors they are or what the names. But they're just on the far left and the lightest colors. And it's probably like these two, especially like this one, would make a nice um, eyeshadow. Well, kind of shows a little bit more. And I'll go in with the other color. I have a little double chin from being on steroids. Currently not on any, except the oral ones for my inhaler because I have asthma and it's been bothering me a little bit more lately for those of you all out there watching out there watching those of you watching um do you have problems with asthma and do you have a per particular time of year that your asthma acts up mine does when it's very hot and when it's very cold I don't live in a cold climate, but believe it or not, when it gets to be maybe like 50, 40, it will act up. This is a pretty blush and it's by uh, Ciate. I'm getting all these, uh, pulling out all these pack packaging that have uh, reflection. Ciate London, and it's in the color, it's the Marble Light Blush in Halo. And I'll show you the color. It's really pretty. It's m much lighter in person than it shows. Maybe like that would be a true color. But I'm gonna pop some of that on. I like to go like on my cheekbones first and then I like kind of swing it up. So I kind of use the combination of the youthful and the lift. <laughs> As they say for like mature women or men if you wear makeup that you shouldn't put your you shouldn't smile and put your blush on because then it'll go down. But I don't have really much sagging at the moment. <laughs> so I can kind of go and place my blush pretty much anywhere I want. I hope you can see that. It shows nice there. There because the shadow it doesn't. And I find when you do videos, you tend to have to put a little bit more makeup on for it to show in the video. All right, let's get to some eye makeup. I want to try, uh, try out this new mascara. Well, new to me, it's by Fenty Beauty. And this is the full frontal. But before that, I want to put some eyeshadow on. I should have left one of those palettes out that had the uh, mirror, so I'll just take that out. I have a vintage mid-century sewing desk that somebody kind of shabby chic by taking off the top layer, not really taking off the top layer of the wood color, but they painted over it with the, a teal color and then it, it's worn out in certain places. I think it's really cool. I uh, picked it up at a uh, vintage antique place that used to um, they used to be around here like once a month I think it was like every Sunday but they have gone away I like vintage things I also like modern things but things about vintage I like that they have like a story to tell you know all right for when I wear eyeshadows, I usually, especially if I want them to last a long time, I like a nice base on there. So I just pick up the e.l.f. Um, it's not called base, it's something else, and I can't think of what it's called. Uh, I pick up the old e.l.f., not old, but good old e.l.f., and it comes with a doe foot applicator. And you just kind of put a few little... And I think this is like $2. I can't use their face makeup, but I can use their eyeshadows and pretty much everything else. And I find this to be really great to help last make my eyeshadow last longer. And it also makes it 
more vibrant. They have it in a like round pot, it's sort of like a putty, but it's very dry for me. And it's funny because I don't have dry skin, but I just don't like the way it goes on. So I actually toss that. And see, I was in a blah mood, and already I'm getting in a better mood talking to you lovely people and putting on some makeup. All right, what should I use? The Essentials Viola Falls or the Essentials 2 that I got? Hmm. This is what the Essentials looks like. Very pretty colors. And then... This is what the Essentials 2. I could actually use a little bit of both, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's try some of these new brushes that I got in my BoxyCharm. The, uh, forgetting the name of the company, Morphe. I can't find the other one now. Right, I'm not going to make you wait forever. I'm just going to grab what I think I'm going to like use it. Okay, this is a flat like shade, a shader brush. Ooh. So we'll start with that. I am going to do like a really cool look. So I'm going to start by putting this color down, which is gold. And it is gold. I don't come from the school that if you're over 50, you can't wear vibrant, vibrant colors. I think if they're applied correctly, and you are confident in wearing them I like that I think go for it now I probably wouldn't wear this look or this I look to the grocery store but one never knows if you're going out on a date with your husband or significant other or going to an event why not glam up a little bit put that sparkly eyeshadow on and I like this brush it's really placing down the shadow very nicely as you see I haven't really gone to the corners because I'm gonna put a different color on that's more of a, a matte color all right, let's get this other. This is one of the ones that came in, and this is like a fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna go into, ooh, terracotta. Looks like I'm using the first Essentials Violet Voss. And no, this is not sponsored by Violet Voss. I don't do sponsored content, I don't monetize. This is my hobby, and I love sharing my love of makeup and style and all that jazz and if I can share my knowledge and have a little fun I'm happy now what I did there is I kind of made like a upside down U, and then I'm just blending it a little bit more very cool I don't think I've used this color terracotta if I did I used it very lightly. And like an upside down U. Blending it. This here, when you go back and forth, is called windshield wiper blending. For those of you that don't know. like a sunset like that okay then I want like a matte kind of like a cream color like this but this is too sparkly so I'm gonna go into my barrage of eyeshadows <laughs> I have something here by ColourPop and it's the color out of luck and I think you can see that that'll work my little wrinkly fingers <laughs> By the way, I say all right a lot when I make these videos. I'm sorry if it annoys you. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, just another flat shader brush. When I'm putting down a color and not going to be blending it too much, I like to use these flat brushes. See how it's pretty flat right there? And when I'm blending, I like to use these that have like a round top and they move real well. Okay, so I've got that color by color pop and I'm going to just put it on my brow bone right here. Not a lot, just blend in a little bit. I know I said I'm not blending, but I'm not blending as much as I did the windshield wiper motion. Going on 15 minutes. Hoping that this will be like 20 minutes or under. I know there's a lot of people that don't like to watch really long videos. Sometimes you just got to talk and do your thing, right? Okay, so that's really pretty. I like that. And for hooded eyelids, I remember the term. I have a bit of like a double-shaped eye where they're olive-shaped, but I do have a little bit of hooding. So I always like to put a darker color in that crease. Even if it's a lighter darker, you know, like not too dark, whatever I put on my lid is lightest and then the darker is in the um, crease. I have done it other ways, but this way makes my eye shape look better, I believe. And I'm blending that beautiful terracotta color a little bit more. When you do eye looks like this, or really any eyeshadow look, I think the trick is to blend. Now that is much better. Let's find an eyeliner. I didn't come prepared. Sorry. All right. I'm going to use this um, Urban Decay Slide On Glide On. I hope it's I just sharpen it. It's in the color, I think, Roach. Terrible name for the color, but really nice liner. <laughs> just using a Essence, but it's not working right. Look at it. Did to it. Ah. thing about sharpening. Oh man. I'm gonna have to just go in there and kind of crack it. Oh boy. Epic fail. I hope that didn't destroy it. Well I'm gonna use a different eyeliner and I'll figure that one out later. Alright another one that is really good is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the classic eye powder pencil and this is made in the Czech Republic just just a bit of information <laughs> and it could use sharpening but it'll be okay it's very soft it blends beautifully and if you are a person that you're not experienced with eyeliner or you have a hard time I would say invest in this Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner because look how quick and easy that went on It is like an eyeshadow in a in a pencil form, and I do need to sharpen it. I'm sorry, I should have done this before I got on, but I didn't really know what colors or what I was gonna use. Yeah, I picked this up at Nordstrom's a while back. And I really, I really like it. Now, those of you that go to Sephora, they have had Charlotte Tilbury for a while. I kind of dotted that and ruined it, but that's okay. Go back and smudge it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a my version of a wing where I'm just going to go and from this part of my eye, I'm just going to pull out. Just like that. I love a beautiful wing liner, but because of my age, the shape of my eye, I usually can't get it to look as great as on a younger person. But being older, 
has its bonuses too because I've been through all that junk of not liking this, not liking this of my body or my face. Um, I think you you gain confidence as you get older. Uh, sometimes you just get that attitude, which I used to think was bad, but I like I think is good now. Where it's like, hey, I like myself, I love myself. If other people don't, their problem. Okay, back to the eyeliner. Now I'm gonna take the eyeliner and just go on the bottom, not in the waterline, just right along the line. Just like, I meant to go halfway, but that's okay. It's more like three quarters. I don't like to go all the way because I feel it closes my eyes too much. And my goal is to make them open. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I sound like uh, Matthew McConaughey. Okay, then I'm gonna take this blending brush. If you don't have one, you can use a cotton swab. Or as they say in England, a cotton bud. And then I pull out that line to make it a little bit more of a wing. I like this, it's pretty. See, I'm feeling better already. Okay. Okay, okay, I keep saying the same words. I'm going to curl my lashes. And I should have done it with a mirror that was closer so I could see it better. Big moment. I'm going to try the Fenty mascara. Oh, I like the wand. It's like tapered out at the ends. Sort of looks like a football shape. Or if you watch Family Guy, or is it Family Guy? Little Stewie's head. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is supposed to be a good one. Are so good. I like the way it's separating my lashes. That's it. Pretty. That's pretty. And I find with mascaras, I have to use them a couple times. Some people like to open them, like leave them open like this for a couple days so they dry out. But I find that they dry too much for me. This is, um, Sort of a wet formula, but not terribly wet. wet. Uh, there's one... Oh, Benefit makes a Benefit Bad Girl Lashes or something like that. And it's very wet. Like, it comes out and it's real, like, jelly. Which I I don't like that. They, it tends to make my eyes, eyelashes just get all gooped up. I'm going back to do another coat and I like to go like right by that root and push up. Don't be afraid to use mascara if you want to try it or you want to really get into the root because there's always makeup remover. Even when you you do a new look like if you try a new look a new blush or a new lipstick and you just don't like it take it off you know makeup is meant at least for me and i know a lot of people that are this way too it's meant for um creating and, and making yourself feel good, look pretty, not that you can't be pretty without makeup, but just be daring, especially us women over 50. We get used to these looks and we stay with them for years and years and it's that way with hair too. Uh, for me, I've never been like that with hair. I've had, uh, the longest my hair has ever been has been down here, but I've had my hair curly, I've had my hair straight, I've had my hair 
highlighted like this. I've had my hair super blonde. I've had it red. In fact, the, the, the 90s was like a red decade for me. I've had my hair black. I've had my hair, my natural color brown. Uh, I'm never afraid to try something new. You know, I think it, it just, it's a great part of life to be daring, try a new look. And you never know, it might be just the thing that you need. This is really nice mascara. I'm going back for this third coat and it's not all clumping. And it has had, you know, a couple minutes to dry. So that's what it looks like. Let me try to close my eyes so you can see that. That's really pretty. So, very nice. Like it. Let's hope that it stays that way. Now, I'm not going to uh, put any um, liner on my lash. Liner. I can't talk. Uh, I'm going to read with brow pencil. So I'm going to be taking my makeup off soon. But I'm going to comb them. I was blessed and cursed with very bushy big eyebrows I never went through that stage where I plucked the heck out of them first of all I hate plucking I have been grooming my eye my what are these called <laughs> eyebrows for many years I started off with a regular razor and I graduated to now I can't find one that I have they make like these one blade razors that women use to like kind of trim the little peach fuzz I use them and grew my own yeah, um, eyebrows and uh, oh one more thing what I would do if I was going out and I wanted the, my makeup not to get greasy and to last longer is I would set it with a <coughs> mm a pressed or loose powder. This is one of my favorites. It's by Cover FX. And yes, I've used a lot of products that are more higher end. Uh, I tend to like a lot of higher end products, but I've also, I also use drugstore brands. My favorite concealer is by Maybelline. And lipsticks, which I'll put one on, I'll use a drugstore one. I, I, I'm a, one of those gals. I like drugstore. I like high ends. Whatever works and whatever I like, that's what I buy. I can put these away later, right? I should do that lipstick for you. Okay, I'm going to put on this Chanel. And I'm talking, oh, I said drugstore. I'm going to do a drugstore. All right, here we go. We've got Maybelline Very Cherry. It's the number 635. I will get used to this camera and I'm so sorry it's like 28 minutes but if this video is too long for you you can always just like watch the part you like or watch maybe half one day and half the other day mm. doesn't taste good but it just I not that I'm tasting it but every time I put on my um, lipstick I always make that mm sound so that's a look <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this super long video uh, it has made me feel better and I'm gonna call this the sunset eye look please take care of yourselves wash your hands take your vitamins and I'm going to give you a challenge to do something different in your routine, your makeup routine, whether that is just putting on some SPF and out the door or a little mascara, that's fine. Buy yourself maybe a new lip gloss or a new lipstick or maybe you have that lipstick that you bought and you're like, oh, I don't know. Go for it. Try it. You can always take it off. Take care of yourselves, and thanks again for sticking around for this long video. Bye-bye.